What's up, guys? Welcome to Slops Locks Thunderdome Edition, the greatest sports betting show in the history of sports betting shows. Everybody knows that. We're looking at the first weekend of NFL action, so we thought, hey, can we get four people in the dome this week? It just makes sense, and guess what? We could. The first of which comes to us from Gold Boys. You might recognize them from the time that we swept the board right here in the Thunderdome and turned $10 into 60 k for multiple psychopaths, the great Degen Eli. What's up, Eli? How you doing, buddy? Doing awesome. Appreciate you finally inviting me back to the show. I know it's because you were scared. Uh, a lot of people said it was like a charity uh, act by you or a pity act by you having me on this show, you know, with my measly 60,000 followers compared to all of your you know, triple digits. I don't stuff. think you have 60, but my, my response to that is, you, you know, I, everybody knows you want the show to be profitable. There's no way you're, you three are doing that without me. So uh, you're welcome. And also thank you. Oh, awesome. Awesome. Thank you, Eli. It's the first time I've introduced you nicely. And that's, I immediately regret yeah. that. Probably. The next fighter we've got is from the Action Network. On top of being extremely good looking, he's also a Twitter legend. I'm talking about Vegas Refund. What's up, BR? Thanks for having me back. It's been a while. It has been. It has been. What do you do all summer, bro, besides maul the drafts? Like, like your account just starts popping up during football season. I get happy again. I'm, and I wonder, where, where does he go? What do you do? I mean, draft season is a whole nother beast. So mm -hmm. it's like the month after the MLB, it's kind of just disconnect and just recoup until August or I guess September. Like, and, then, and then you're back just nonstop because now you're tweeting all the time again. <laughs> Pretty much. All right. That's how I know it's football season, so I'm happy to see it. And finally, we've got another guy who needs absolutely zero introduction. He's probably the hardest working man in this space. He's all over TikTok, YouTube, as well as Twitter. He's a guy that I've got to beat by at least two units today, or I have to pay one of his subscribers 100 bucks. calling our shot. What's up, Austin? I appreciate you for finally not dodging me and getting me in the Thunderdome. I know you're going to be giving away $100 to someone of my subscribers, but... I appreciate you for letting me in here, and I got all plus money bangers, so this is going to be an electric episode. People should uh, stick, stay tuned. I got some good ones cooked up. I was definitely going to tell you, you can't walk in here with this minus 120 this, minus 110 that, but apparently you have seen the show, and you know. Big fan. And I'm, I'm, glad, I'm glad you're not ducking me anymore, too. All right, so here's what we're going to do, all right? There really are no rules here, all right? The only rules is there are no rules. Shut up, Eli. We're going to go Vegas refund first, then Eli, then call our shot, then me, okay? Basically, we're all going to get three picks. That's it. Three picks. Whoever has the most units at the end wins, just like I did in yesterday's surprise Thunderdome. But before we do all that, Nigel's making us give away $1,000. That's right. Somebody watching right now is going to win a grand. All you have to do to be eligible is to be on an Odds Jam free trial. I would also subscribe to this channel, too. So just go to oddsjam.com, pick a plan, use promo code SLOP, and you'll be given access to the greatest sports betting tools in the history of sports betting tools, absolutely free for two weeks. On top of that, you'll be entered to win $1,000, which will be announced Monday. I know what you're thinking. It's too good to be true, but it is true. It's 100% real, so do that right now. We'll wait for you. I'm just kidding. Pause the video. We're not going to wait for you. VR, you're up. Go ahead, man. Okay, so the first one I'm going to give out is going to be Tyler Lockett, Anytime TD, which right now sits about, about like plus 200, which if you use any of the million boosts that are available out there, you can get probably up to plus 300. But right now, the Rams are just not a lot to like in the secondary. When they're playing too high, they could have seven rookies on the field. Uh, and then when you factor in the returning secondary players between Witherspoon and Kendrick, both of them ranked 133 and 132 out of 135 cornerbacks ranked on PFF last year. You don't have Jalen Ramsey. And then you have Tyler Lockett, who put up four, four catches, 54 yards and a touchdown last year, the nine catches for buck 28 and a touchdown last year. He's just the model of consistency, four plus seasons in a row with at least eight touchdowns or more. Um, and if, I just don't know how anyone in this ramp secondary is going to stop him or Metcalf. If Metcalf had higher odds than Lockett, I would have taken him. But Lockett at plus 200, um, it's a good one. 
I was just going to ask you, what do you say to the haters that say it's going to be all Metcalf all day? But you address that. All right, Eli, you heard the man. That means you're up. Stop stalling. So you see my hat says run the damn ball. You can't see the jersey. It is an Anthony Richardson Colts jersey, obviously. Um, listen, the Colts are going to be really bad. They're going to be pretty right. much playing for fun this season um, and the development of Anthony Richardson. Anthony Richardson also the only fun player on the roster, potentially. He's also the only guy that's a talented rusher on the roster. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take Anthony Richardson, anytime touchdown, same game parlayed with his over 45 and a half rushing yards. That is plus 300 on Hard Rock. Um, talked about the Colts, how bad they are. Rock. Yeah, yeah. You know, best odds, you got to take, got to take the best lines. Um, Colts also ha really have no red zone threat other than Anthony Richardson. So, no. um, you know, if they want to do anything, ball's going to be in his hands. Uh, Philadelphia Eagles last year with uh, Shane Steichen calling the plays led the NFL and designed run plays. Um, and obviously, Shane Steichen, head, head coach of the Colts this season. I think we're going to be seeing a lot of Anthony Richardson running the ball, whether it's in a, in a scramble because the offensive line sucks or a designed run uh, play call. Um, and I think they call his number in the red zone as well. Plus 300. That's awesome. He's, uh, you talked about the things that he only does it. The, he's one of the only guys that I know of that cannot throw the ball. It's actually playing quarterback. So that's another thing he has going for him. We'll see. Eli, do you agree with that? Um, I think we have no that? idea. I think we have no idea. But okay. uh, if that's true, it only helps with my bat here. Oh. Do you watch college football? Yeah. No. Oh. Right. Like, you kind no. Of idea, but whatever. Anyways, I like that pick, actually. I'm kind of mad that I did not take something similar to that because I'm going to need more than what I have. But anyways, I'll figure it out. While I'm doing that, go ahead, Austin. You're up. All right, so this is going to be the worst value pick that I'm going to give out on the show, and it's coming in at plus 160. I'd like uh, Tyler Lockett, Max, I'm asking for another guy to get a touchdown. Mike Evans of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, anytime touchdown scorer, plus 160 on FanDuel. Now, either one of two things happens on Sunday because we're recording this on Friday. Either one, Mike Evans comes in here, he gets a nice contract extension, which he set a deadline for, I believe, on Saturday, and he comes in here with his bags paid, and he's going to play like the number one wide receiver money they gave him. Or number two, they wouldn't have paid him, and he's coming in here angry, saying, I demand a, a better contract. He's going to be motivated to prove his worth. Either way, either outcome is good for me. You look at Baker Mayfield, new starting quarterback for the Bucs. There's something he's not afraid of doing. That's throwing the ball up, and this is a guy at six foot five. You get into the red zone, probably just going to close your eyes and throw it up to Mike Evans and hope something goes right. Vikings defense struggled versus wide receivers last season, and their best corner is Byron Murphy Jr., who is only 5'11". Now, I'm not a mathematician, but six foot five, much bigger than five eleven. And I know if I, as a you know fellow five eleven, six foot guy, would not be able to stop Mike Evans. So Mike Evans is getting into the end zone on Sunday, going to show his contract either he needs a new one or he's going to show his worth. Mike Evans, anytime touchdown, my first play plus one sixty. Hey, closing your eyes and throwing up to Mike Evans that worked for Johnny Manziel. So why not Baker Mayfield, Jameis Winston, another guy. <laughs> that it's going to help with is going to be my pick, which is Chris Godwin, 60 plus receiving yards plus 120. There is absolutely no chance this pick loses. I mean, literally no way. This is a, I thought it was a first half line, but apparently it is for the whole game. So there's that. Look here, the Vikings are going to score all over the Bucs. Everybody knows that. But guess what? The Bucs, they're going to have to throw to get back in. Guess who gave up more receiving yards to the wide receiver position last year, Eli? Guess. I, going to be honest, have not been listening to you at all. It was the Minnesota Vikings. Thank you, Eli. Guess who gave up Welcome. the most receiving yards to receivers the year before that? Austin. Vikings. Uh, not sure. Eli, not your turn. Oh, my God. It was the Vikings, Austin. Thanks. Sorry. Eli spoiled it for you. But, yes. Yeah, so, guess what? They're going to give it up. We're at 60 plus shots. That's nothing. Again, that's a first half cash. And now I'm 1 0. What do you think about that, VR? How do you feel right now? It sounds like it has zero chance of losing. Correct. 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 He doesn't. His ego doesn't need that, man. <laughs> I mean, well, I, mean I just gonna be I fine. It out there. I mean, everyone heard it. That's just my how math works. One, That's not the next one. Another one <laughs> has zero percent chance of losing. David and Joku, forty plus receiving yards. I believe that is. Plus 124. It was all over the positive VV page at Odds Jam. So I mean, that's why I looked into it. And guess what? It was correct. 
He only played the Bengals once last year, but this is, he got 59 yards against him. This is another situation where the Bengals are going to score on the Browns. Browns are going to throw to get back in. We get a little scoring going back and forth, but guess what? You don't need scoring when all you need is yards, especially when you only need 40 yards. I'm thinking this is going to take two catches for Njoku, but he's going to catch like five or six balls, so it's not going to matter. This, again, is going to be over in the first half. Sorry about that, guys, but I won't apologize for being 2-0. and You're up, Austin. You know, Slop, you're giving out plus 120s. We're going to need better out of you out of that third pick. But for mine, I'm going to plus 200 pick. J.K. Dobbins of the Rays, Ravens, 20, 75 plus rushing yards, plus 205 on bet 365. Now, if you're feeling bold and you want to go crazy, I don't, I don't hate the 100 plus at plus 550, but I'll mm. settle 75 here because Dobbins enters this this game supposedly to be the number one back for the Ravens. Now, they do have a different offensive coordinator, but I still expect this team to be pretty run heavy. And they got Dobbins' rush attempts line set to 13 and a half, 14 and a half on some books. So they think he's getting the ball. And last year, no team allowed more rushing yards to the running back position or just in general than the Texans at 170. Now they cannot be worse than they were last year because they were historically bad. But I still think Dobbins, who has seen when he gets 10 or more carries in his career, average 83 rushing yards per game. I know Lamar's going to get his. They're still going to want to throw the ball a little bit more than they have in years past. But we also got a positive game script. Ravens 10-point favorites. I think getting this at plus 205 is a steal. I think they made a mistake. I think they meant to make it minus 205. But we're mm-hmm. going to catch on to the mistake. J.K. Dobbins, 75-plus, baby. Books do that all the time. All the time. They they forget the plus sign, minus sign. It happens. It happens. Yeah. Eli, what do you think about that, man? I think it's fine. You think it's fine? Just yeah. fine? Yeah. So you got to just fine out of Eli. Not bad. Yeah. Not bad. Well, Eli, stop yeah. stalling, but you're up. S- similar pl- pick for me a little bit. I think mine's a lot better, obviously. Sticking with the theme of the hat, going to the – Browns and Bengals game here. Um, listen, the Browns weren't great at defending the run last year, like 134 yards a game, which is like eighth most in the league, but they were particularly bad at defending the B gaps. Um, so the most yards allowed to the left guard, third most to the right guard, that's where Joe Mixon gets uh, like a lot of his yards. Um, so I'm going with Joe Mixon 70 plus. Um, in one of the two games last season against the Browns, he dropped like 80 something. Um, that is plus 172 on FanDuel. Joe Mixon, 70 plus rush. Not bad. Not bad at all. VR, do you like that at all? You didn't seem like you were very interested in that. I mean, I, I, I'm just trying to win. I'm not really having an opinion on others, right? It sounds like it had a 0% chance of winning. Uh, Eli was, it was, it was a, a, a good, he was bringing up Good gaps reasoning. and stuff. What the hell's that? I don't know. Yeah, that's just not it. That. I heard a lot of stats. I don't know. It's yeah, no, that that zero percent chance. Of it. <laughs> the tune we'll out. Yeah, it gets rough. All right, well, VR, VR, show them how it's done. You're up. I'm gonna go with twice. By the way, <laughs> I'm gonna go with Josh Allen anytime touchdown at plus two ten. Uh, who they are playing the Jets on Monday? Last year, Allen really struggled passing against both games against the Jets. He was under 56% uh, completion rate between the two games. And in both games against the Jets last year rushing, he went nine for 86 in a touchdown. And he went 10 for 47 in two touchdowns in both games. So uh, in the two games that he struggled, he defaulted to rushing the ball. And at plus 210, like when you think about them in the red zone and on the goal line, like Josh Allen is their goal line back, at least to me, um, which a plus 210 use all the boosts. I came in here with two safer picks, and then I saw these odds, not realizing everyone's going plus 200, so I kind of just whipped that one up off the fly. Oh, right off the top of your head, I like that. It's fun. I, just, I just made something that has no chance of losing, and it was your strategy right there. And, I mean, nice. QB first TD are autos, which I don't even know what his first TD odds are, but uh, bonus pick, first TD, Josh Allen as well. Ooh, bonuses. I like it. I like it. Well – Since snake drafts work the way they work, you're going to go again. I'm going to go again. So this is going to be my safe pick. I'm going to go with the Packers money line plus 100 or even odds, which this is one when you look at, it's kind of, it doesn't make sense about how they're like plus one and a half, which plus one and a half is basically a money line bet. But you would think like I have this at like Packers at least like minus one and a half and we have a flashy quarterback in Justin Fields, who's on everyone's fantasy team with the Bears. And then you have Jordan Love, who is not on anyone's fantasy team. And Aaron Rodgers has left the building. 
And I don't think anyone's giving the Packers any credit. I do think they're a great bet to win their division. They still have weapons at wide receiver, tight end. They have a great offensive line. Uh, Tevin Jenkins, the Bears' best offensive lineman, was just placed on IR, which is a big deal. Because Pat Thorman, who is with ETR, he does like an offensive line, defensive line advantage or mismatches every week. And rarely do you see a team pop up on the offensive line mismatch and defensive line mismatch. And it kind of just means auto bet if it, it's on both. And the Packers are the only team right this year, this week that have an edge on O-line and D-line, which is big for me. And at even odds for money line, and I need a safe one just to make sure I don't go 0-3, um, Packers money line it is. I love it. I love it. So not buying the Bears hype, huh? I'm not. I'm not either. So I'm on record saying that. Eli. Hi. You heard the man. My turn? Oh, wait. My bad. You already gave yours. No. Oh. Well, then go. Okay. <laughs> so I really want you guys to be thinking all day tomorrow, wow, I'm already losing to Eli. So I'm going to go with an MLB pick on tonight's I slate. It. I knew it. I knew going it. super chalk, to be honest with you. But you know what? I, I feel like we're getting still uh, uh, some, some good value. Plus 255 for Aaron Judge to hit a home run off of Colin Diarrhea, who was allowed six home runs in his last three starts in Yankee Stadium. Uh, yeah, plus 255. Not a great odds for a home run, but I still think that this should be plus 180, plus 190. That's on FanDuel, plus 255, Aaron Judge. Dinger. MLB? Oh yeah, that's how you've done. I, I, hear you that. I, I didn't heard. even know baseball was still going on, honestly. Yeah. I, it is. Nice. Well, way to bring baseball back, I guess, Eli. You're welcome. You're actually being booed in the chat. Probably. It's crazy. I was, that was going to happen anyway, though. So. No, it happens. It does yeah. happen. All right. Well, Austin, you're going to have to write the ship here because, Jesus Christ, we just want to. Yeah, I mean, he brought the vibes way down. And I'm actually sort of going to stay there for just a second because I actually want to pay my respects to a guy that's not in a lot of – Good spot. His name's Mike Williams, and he's the former NFL receiver. I don't know if you saw on the news. Actually, it was reported that he died earlier this week, now on life support. So I actually sending all my prayers out to him before oh, I dive USC? into my group. What? No, the different U Mike Williams. No, oh. different one, different one. No, this one, this one, uh, yeah, he was in a construction accident. Crazy thing. I think it happened in Tampa on life support over here. But if there's anything I know, though, about the world is that there has to be balance. And when one Mike Williams is not looking good, Another one has to step up. Mike Williams mm -hmm. of the Chargers, 100-plus receiving yards, plus mm -hmm. 450. Now, the crazy thing about this Mike Williams is he could do this with one play. Now, I know people are going to say, yeah, there's only 99 yards. Standing. No, he, could, he would get the extra yards because he's so yeah. good. But Mike is big boomer bust guy. It's the guy also, 400-yard receiving yard games last year. One of those came against the Miami Dolphins, who he plays again this weekend. Obviously, Jalen Ramsey, mm -hmm. the big acquisition, he's still out. And they got a new offensive coordinator in Kellen Moore who's not afraid of throwing the ball. So just like I targeted Mike Evans earlier on in the video, Mike Williams, big guy, six foot four. They're going to throw it deep to him. He's going to have his chances. And I think he could break it deep, break one long. Love Mike Williams, plus 450. This should be like minus 450. Like I said, this is just the wrong price. Mike Williams of the Chargers is going to step up for all the Mike Williams of the world. We're riding with him, 100 plus. Slop, I'm going to be honest with you. I almost took that same bet. Wow. So Austin and Eli are yeah, lovers. I, I, like, I like that one. I like it. I like it. Good, good, good. All right. So I'm going to have to pivot a little bit. Not not that much, though. Oh, shit. The odds change. I can't see it. This one's going to be plus 565 at FanDuel. It is just a combo of two players. I'm not going to do the bow thing where I parlay like eight people in one bet. But it's going to be two tight ends. Big fan of the tight ends. Always have been. Always will be. Talking Gerald Everett, 40 plus yards or 40 plus receiving yards, plus 148. We're going to tie that with Juwan Johnson, 40 plus receiving yards. And that one is plus 168, I believe. I'm sorry, hang on one second. I'll get it. Plus 168. Parlayed together, it's plus 565. Look here, guys. No team in the NFL, not one, gave up more receiving yards to tight end position last season than the Titans. I think they're still going to be able to stop the run if they're going to do all their things. But they were a, they're, they're a pass funnel. I mean, they're a sieve in the passing game. They give it up especially to tight end. Derek Carr played with Juwan Johnson, I think, for like uh, one possession in the preseason. Found him two times for 29 yards. You extrapolate that over a whole game, do the math. That's like 
a thousand yards. So we should get there. <laughs> we only need 40, which is good. On the flip side, the other guy, uh, Gerald Everett, it's a new offense. It's a new offense. We're not going to see a bunch of dump offs. Like Justin Herbert was out there playing with like a broken arm and it's like two broken legs and some ribs. Like he's fine now. He's back. So he's not dumping off the Eckler anymore. They've got Kellen Moore there calling plays. It's going to go quick, going to go fast. They're going to spread out the field. A lot of yards, a lot of points. At least that's what Everett said. We only need 40 yards, guys. That's it. That's a 565 win I just did, man. That's crazy. What do you guys think of that? Terrible. I mean, it's going to be hard for him to get yards when Mike Williams has all the yards, but I, I can spare you 40 maybe. Okay. Okay. Luke, I know you liked it, Luke. I can tell you, you're like, fuck, man, I should have bet that. <laughs> the, a thousand yards in one game and he only needs 40 extrapolated is that's crazy. That is fantastic. I mean, you talk about value. All right. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. <laughs> wow. Like they really mispriced that one. All right, guys. I thought that was fun. Did you think it was fun? Do you think we lost one? Anybody raise your hand if you think you lost a bet. I mean, no. ML, I, I, maybe, 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 maybe ML. You came in, I almost, I respect it at the, like it's, was not yeah. expecting that. I almost no, happy that I, on myself. I knew it, uh, but he texted me and asked me a question, said something about rules. I was like, ah, this always means they're going to ask about MLB. I knew it. I knew it right away. It's like, and sure enough. But Eli, in his defense, he just hit a, what was it, a three leg home run parlay the other night for a grand, like 10 bucks to a grand? Yeah, yeah. $10 to $1,000. No, nothing too crazy, you know. I, I really wanted to be the first person ever to, to give three different picks on three different sports and, and pick a UFC line for tomorrow night, but I didn't. I chickened out. Oh, bonus bet. Maybe next time. It happened. I mean, you can throw the bonus bet out there. Yeah, Luke did. Um, I think Israel Adesanya is going to win by knockout. I didn't. I couldn't decide what round, but I was going to give like a crazy round bet. Uh, okay. Izzy Adesanya by by we'll KO. Just throw out a round now. I mean, it can only be what three? Round four. Okay, <laughs> round four. Then there we go. <laughs> Beautiful. Okay. All right, guys. If you have nothing else to say, I have nothing else to say. What do you think? You want to wrap it up? This is sure. twelve. I see twelve picks on the screen. A lot of winners are coming the way. Yeah. The real winners, though, like you say, Slop, are the people that are watching. So, like, if they haven't done you a favor, go down below, hit that subscribe button, drop a That's like. A We're all cash. Look out. at this guy. What a pro. Oh, no, this yeah, guy, he's a consummate. Yeah. What a pro. Consummate. That's what I do. He wants one of his subscribers to subscribe so they get $100 when he beats me. I, I know what he's doing. All right. Yeah. I know what he's doing. Businessman. Or, yeah, or, or I'm sorry, whenever I beat him, they get it too. So, everyone wins here. Nice work, guys. But thanks for coming. Viewers, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next week.